Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today I am sharing another myth. This one comes to us from the Cherokee Nations of Southeast United States, or what is now referred to as the Southeast United States. Specifically, how man acquired fire, sometimes also referred to as how water spider brought fire to man. Let's get into it. As is typical with retelling myths, any story that is told word of mouth tends to grow and change, to evolve in the telling. So while this may not match exactly what others have heard, it is the way I have chosen to tell this story. I have modernized some language and added some dramatic elements, but you'll find that all the same features of the tale are intact. Long ago, the land was dark and cold. Seeing this, the thunderers set fire to a hollowed-out sycamore tree. Many animals saw this smoke, but could not reach the tree, for it was on an island across the waters. Wishing to help their brothers and sisters among the race of man, various birds volunteered to fly across the waters and collect fire for them. Raven went first. He flew across the waters without issue and stood over the fire. As he pondered how to best collect said fire, his feathers began to smoke and smolder. With a cry, he leapt back into the air and returned empty-handed. Little Screech Owl tried next. Like Raven, he crossed the water without issue. But as he descended upon the tree, a great burst of hot air escaped, burning his eyes. In great pain, Screech Owl managed to return across the water, but to this day, his eyes remain red from the burns. Seeing the failures of the first two birds, the Hoot Owl and Great Horned Owl tried next. By now the tree was nearly consumed with fire. Great billowing clouds of smoke and ash clogged their vision, and they returned without any fire. To this day, their faces are stained with white rings of ash. Seeing the damage the various birds had sustained, no other flying creature was willing to make the attempt. So. The great black snake and black racer both swam across the water. But by this time, the fire had spread. It was no longer just the sycamore tree. The shores had begun to burn. Finding no place to safely make land, the snakes circled the island until their scales were singed and burned black. They returned to man without any fire. Having witnessed the previous attempts, little water spider, she said, I think I know how to obtain this fire for man. So she set about crafting, weaving a cup that she would be able to use to not handle fire directly. Thus prepared, she crossed to the waters and leaned her cup up against shore scooping up a loose ember. She then returned across the waters to man, bringing the gift of fire with her. To this day, the race of man uses fire to warm their homes and cook their food, thanks to the brave efforts of our little friend, the water spider. I hope you enjoyed this retelling of a Cherokee myth of how man acquired fire. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any myths you would like me to modernize and relay in this fashion, leave a comment below with your suggestion, and I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!